Hey, good afternoon, Anon. It's me, Buddha Jeff, uh, here to present another video. Today, we're going to talk about the SC Prime web wallet. This is a web browser based wallet that you can use for sending and checking your bounces and, you know, obsessively obsessing. Uh, our friend Sparky has made another one of his awesome videos. Oh, hey, wait, what's that doing there? Don't look at that. Uh, and I'm going to run through this video. We're going to talk about how to install this. We're going to use Linux for our version. Uh, the Mac version had some errors and is getting worked on, I believe. But this should be the same across all the platforms since it is indeed web-based. All right. Let's give it a go. So first thing you want to do is go to scpry.me backslash software and download the web wallet. Um, we're going to pick the Linux you can see there. It's going to show up in our downloads folder and a little extraction, unzip that thing. And Sparky wants to save it into his SC Prime folder. So it's all easy and convenient. I mean, it makes sense, right? So extraction's completed. He's going to go to the SC Prime video folder and in there we have both the Linux CLI install and the web wallet. Uh, we have to change the properties, give it permissions to run as a program. That's a Linux thing. I'm not sure about the other stuff, but double clicking on that afterwards is going to open up a browser. I guess you can choose if you want to use Chrome, etc. Sparky likes Firefox and here we go. You'll see it's going to load up. First thing it says is that the bootstrap does not exist. There's no consensus. So we're going to shortcut this. You could build it yourself. But remember, you're going to have to download the whole thing. Could take a day. Or you can use the bootstrap file. As you can see, here it is, 78% already. Uh, your mileage may vary, of course. I believe that Sparky said that after this, it took a couple minutes for it to unzip and for it to set itself up. He told me to banter over the video while this happened. I mean, I don't know what he's talking about. I always just have the most informative things to say. Like today, Gordon and I were talking about memes in the, in the distributed database channel. And he sent a sad tigger and I felt so bad for him. Anyways, Gord, what a guy. So... Apparently, we're stuck on bootstrapping consensus. One day, this might work. But remember, this is only for the startup. You do this once. There we go. Wallet started. So you can unlock an existing wallet. You can restore from seed. You can create a new wallet. Or you can create a new cold wallet. I think we're going to, right now, we're going to create a new wallet. But remember, this is where you could do your cold wallet, which you could keep your coins hidden offline, on the chain, but a cold wallet isn't going to give you the access like a new wallet will. So here we go. Uh, wallet name is Jeff and Sparky's wallet. That's pretty cute. We got a new password here. Sparky never tells me our passwords. Maybe they peek down there. You guys are going to have to freeze frame and check that out. Create a new wallet. He's going to save it to his web browser, initializing it. You can see block 44,000. We got a ways to go here. It's going to have to get up to 190 odd thousand blocks to be where we want it to be. Uh, it does save some time, so be prepared. But again, this is one of those things that you're going to do at the beginning, and you may have to resynchronize it as you go on if you don't load this after a while, but still, it'll take a couple minutes. It's not the end of the world. So here we are, 185. And now, look, we're in the wallet. You can see our block height. You can see the wallet name. We got zero, fu zero funds in there, which is kind of depressing. Come on, Sparky. And there's no SPF either. Man, this guy. So there is a little Easter egg there showing you what whale you are based on your balance. Apparently, we're shrimps, at least in this wallet. Uh, if you go to the menu on the right side, you can see where you can recover your seed. 
Now, if anybody's quick enough, you probably could copy that out and s hack yourself into our wallet. But remember, it's a shrimp, so that's not going to do you much good. You can, you can use that menu to do sends and receives. Oh, hey, there's me again. So that's Sparky's web wallet video. Uh, I give it an 8 out of 10, mostly for having no coins. But it's pretty easy to do. You go back, you click that icon again, run that app, loads back up, sends your coins, receives your coins, and there you go. You don't have to run the whole node on a computer 24 hours a day just to be able to access your SC Prime coins. I don't know. This is one take. I'm only doing one take, so Gord, I see you.